Time to wake up the 5.9. Then as far as the Limited goes, today, this truck is getting a wrap. What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Really quick, I wanna start off the video by saying you can win that Silver 5.9 sitting right there that we just started up. Every $5 gets you one entry to win on the website. Go to lnpgear.com, I'll leave it right here, or there's a link in the description below, and every $5 gets you one entry to win until September 1st, and that giveaway is gone. And you can be taking home that beautiful truck, which is getting, yes, a lot more stuff done. We are not anywhere close to done with that yet. It's getting a transmission built in a few days here. It's getting stuff under the hood, new suspension stuff, wheels, tires, all kinds of stuff. So do not miss out on your opportunity to win that beautiful 0759 and $15,000 worth of upgrades slash work getting down to the truck. And oh yeah, the wrap on this thing is gonna be pretty freaking cool. But you guys are just gonna have to wait and see just what we're doing. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be like in your face, but it's also gonna be a little bit subtle. Hopefully you guys are ready to see this. It's gonna be really freaking cool. honest now I am super excited to get this truck wrapped but I am also a little bit nervous as to what it's gonna actually make the truck look like it's gonna look good oh there's one of my favorite stores right there we're about seven ish minutes away and we're actually going to Tucky Motorsports so I don't know how many of you guys might know who that is I don't know how big they are in the area all I know is he was recommended this business was recommended by Devin the guy that works on tons of trucks he he has tons of connections inside that realm of trucks suspension wheels tires power decal wraps all that stuff he, he has tons of connections all that stuff he's like this is who I recommend that's who we're going to because if he's recommended he's probably pretty good and they said it's not gonna take that long to get it done he had me on the schedule for tomorrow but me and the wife he might just kind of have like a day up in Michigan stay up here overnight or something then pick the truck up in the morning if it's not done today we're gonna make the most of it we're gonna have an awesome time Check out this truck. I love seeing this third gen roll behind me. Like, it looks so freaking mean. I don't, like, you, it doesn't do, like, even look at it out this angle, you know? I mean, it doesn't ever really do you any justice with any of these trucks until you see them in person. Everybody who sees our trucks in person, like when they win a truck and they come see us, they're like, dang, these things look so much different in person. They're so much bigger and meaner and louder and all this stuff. And I'm like, it is kind of hard to do justice on video, but uh, that truck is really sweet looking. So we're going to get over here, get this truck dropped off. I'll show you one last time around the Limited. For everybody that may not have seen the truck yet, show you what it looks like before the wrap is done. And then we will come back once the wrap is actually completed and on the truck. I think are here. I see a bunch of wrapped trucks, so I'm guessing this is it. Man, look at that third gen. Holy crow. That's a nice truck. So we're going to go in here, get this all squared away, and see what they're going to do with this truck, and then uh, I'll get back to you guys. I think it's going to look good, but I don't know exactly how it's going to look. And to anybody wondering what it costs to do what we're about to do, it's like twelve to $1,300. Hopefully, turns out pretty freaking good. Now, the reason I'm doing it is so that my truck is basically like a rolling billboard for tax reasons. So we're gonna go get something to eat. We're just gonna kinda hang out. I might just vlog some stuff throughout the day until we can pick up the truck either today or tomorrow. That's what we're gonna do today. Go with the flow, see what happens, have some fun, and then pick up the truck. Bam, I see the dually over here. It, it looks so, how good does it look? It looks freaking good. It looks nasty. This is going to like, it just screams loud and proud. So freaking cool, not to mention, you don't see like hardly any limited 2019 dualies rolling around, so it's just like an extra cool factor. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit here. We're not showing you the truck wrap quite yet, but we are going to in this video. Don't think I'm not gonna do that. So we're actually shopping for real estate. And you guys might be asking, why are you shopping for real estate? Reagan and I have always been on the same page from day one about literally like investing in cash flowing investment properties when we can do that so we're getting closer and closer to where we're getting to the point to where we're like we want to start investing into things that don't just cost us money things that actually like make a return for us so for example rental properties houses and apartments and um, duplexes and stuff that you know you purchase people live there they pay you rent that sort of deal so those are called investment cash flowing properties not all are equal so that's why you got to shop around and try to find good deals we're in the limited driving around putting some business miles on this truck, shopping for small houses that would make good candidates for rental properties, duplexes, stuff like that. The reason for it is 
for example, let's just say theoretically you've got $10,000 and you put it in the bank. With that $10,000, you put that in the bank, it's not making you any money. Your money's not doing anything for you. It's just sitting there collecting a half percent interest annually. The point of an investment property is instead of setting your money in a bank, saving a bunch of money for a rainy day, just putting it in the bank, you're putting money, not all of your dollars, <laughs> but you're putting a lot of your money into investment properties that yeah, it might cost you $10,000 to put the money down on the property to get a loan on it, but now that property is paying you back 10 to 20%, depending on the deal and how much you pay in the area, paying you back that you know 10 to 20% of that $10,000 every year. Some of you might think, well, why would you wanna spend $10,000 to make $1,000 back that year or $2,000 back that year? Why wouldn't you rather just save the money? Well, the thing is the properties don't go anywhere. You keep them. They keep getting rented out, and if you're smart with your money and you set funds aside properly for management and upkeep and stuff like that, you're just making money more and more, it just compounds over the years. And sorry if the camera seems a little bit shaky, it's not that the camera work is bad, it's that it is just a bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road near where we live. We're just shopping around for real estate, looking at new opportunities to invest our money into, so that's what we're doing right now. So we're actually at my parents' house right now because we're gonna do a little bit of archery practice with the wife. The real estate thing was kind of fun though, what do you think? It was, it was kind of fun going out, looking at some properties, I mean, just kind of looking at the area, how the vibe is, stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys the wrap on the truck now, and then I'm gonna tell you some stuff about the 7.3 right there a couple other small things but let's get into this Okay, everybody, so I showed you the wrap. I gave you the little reveal, made it super dramatic and all that stuff, but let's go around and actually show you a little bit closer up the wrap, the detail, why I did what I did. With this wrap, I was going to do a chrome finish, and you might be asking why on earth would you do a chrome finish? Well, I thought it would look good with the grill and the wheels and the mirror caps. I called Tucky Motorsports up in Coldwater, Michigan, and I said, hey, this is what I wanna do, this is the look I wanna go for. Contacted them, told them all this stuff, and they said, hey, chrome doesn't last that long, and it doesn't look great, and it's always super shiny and just like glaring like in your face. So I said, okay, well, then what do you recommend? They said, we recommend like a metallic silver finish. And you might be asking, how does that look up close? Well, there you can see the metallic finish, and when the sunlight hits that, it just pops. I mean, it looks good. It shines, sparkly, bright like a diamond. You know what I'm saying? It looks like a fresh coat of, like, powder coat. Yeah. So it looks like a powder coat metallic finish or like a shiny new paint job finish. It doesn't look like a sticker. You know what I'm saying? Like those wraps that just look like a giant sticker on your truck and they don't even look good and they're just cheap looking. This looks good and top notch, high quality. And I decided to go with the newer updated version of the Loud and Proud Diesel Trucks logo versus just like the emblem, the LNP emblem. Because I want people, to, when they see this going down the road, I want them to know this is the loud and proud diesel trucks, truck, the vocal point, you know what I mean? Like, there's not a lot of these duallys around yet, especially not the limited 3500 dually Rams. In terms of that element, it's just cool as it is. So then on the back it says, we give away diesel trucks, lnpgear.com, which by the way, if you want to win a beautiful third gen Cummins that I showed you earlier in the video rolling down the road, enter to win today, it's every $5 gets you one entry to win that truck. In terms of the design, I went with that updated logo, and you can kind of see on the back, they like pieced the logo together with the text, but they made it to where it kind of stopped and it looked like it contoured to the letter, and it kind of disappears and pops back up up above there. And the detail, like, is just, is just awesome. Like, it, it's just really, really good, really high quality. The decal looks great. It doesn't look cheap. I thought at first, I was like, oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna like this. You know, I can't wait to see it because I'm, I'm kind of nervous and it just turned out really good and they left me with absolutely nothing to worry about. I mean, it looks, it looks really, really freaking good. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. I think it looks really killer. I think it just says a lot. You know, it's really cool. I like it a lot. It just, it's a very basic statement. It tells you the company name, Loud and Proud Diesel Trucks, and then it has the website on the back. It just says, we give away diesel trucks. Very simple. LMP website link. There's a little bit further away what it looks like. I mean, just, it looks good. And uh, the silver metallic that they recommended, they said that's gonna look best on your truck. They, I mean, nail on the head. It looks amazing and I wouldn't wanna change it at all. 7.3, you might be asking, what could you possibly have to say about the 7.3? Well, we're 
getting rid of the 7.3. And I know I told you I was gonna do some stuff to it. I had Devin come look at it, and you can blame Devin if you want. No, I'm totally messing. Anyways, he told me he would not recommend rebuilding this truck unless you're willing to straighten that frame out because eventually it is going to run into more issues if that's not addressed properly. Axles out of alignment, frames out of alignment, all kinds of stuff. And he's like, I just wouldn't work that truck, put a bunch of money into it, and then that not get dealt with and that can be kind of expensive and kind of hard to do unless you're just somebody that has a lot of connections and can get it done cheap a little bit more involving than what we really realized just not a great idea and we're not going to be keeping the truck well whitey is going to be going off i was talking to my dad i said you know now that i think about it i said it's kind of sad and i've already discussed this in a different video like way back when it got wrecked i'm like so many trips in this truck i grew up in this truck going to tennessee and pennsylvania and like out west a little bit and way down south and way out east i'm like this truck has been everywhere we did trips where we went back and forth to central ohio three hours back and forth like three or four times in a day like hauling hay back and forth. We went and did a cattle run all the way up to like, it was like uh, Eastern Pennsylvania or like way up in New York somewhere where we bought cattle and we hauled it back. I was, you know, really, really young, you know, like probably 10 years old, I remember that. Just a ton of memories, getting up early and going out and hunting and taking this truck, you know, up north. Oh, that hit me, like that truck's been through so much. You know what I mean? It's kind of sad, but then again, it's not gonna make anything any better. Just sitting back here, rusting away, nobody doing anything with it. And there is a guy that said he's gonna buy it and he's gonna come pick it up. He's a tow truck driver. He said he knows how to straighten the frame and do all the work to it. He said he does it all the time and he has tons of connections. He's like, this truck is gonna look really, really good again. It's gonna be cab off, redo everything. It's gonna be awesome. You know, better him than us because we don't really know what we're doing in terms of that that extreme kind of stuff. Saying goodbye to Whitey Dad. How do it's you feel? It's a sad day. Well, you know what? This gentleman was the tow truck driver who picked up Whitey when it was wrecked. He showed interest right away. He lives not too far from us and he has a background of body work, working on stuff. Where he works now, they actually have, he just said, a new machine to be able to straighten frames and basically has everything that he needs. He has some intent and I like the idea of giving to somebody who's gonna do the right thing. That was a hard thing, but I think it's gonna work out for the best. That is it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a lot of talking at the end, but I just needed to get all this kind of stuff brought to you guys' attention. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to enter to win that silver third gen. Every $5 is one entry to win. Information is in the description below. Fat thumbs up on this video. Hit that red button, turn it gray, and subscribe if you have not done so yet. Join the team, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.